Veronica, a typical demonic possession film with a surprising heart film. Supernatural Possession Veronica Abersandre Sasena is a 15-year-old girl with an atypical life. With the recent death of her father and a mother who works long hours, she is forced to daily take care of her three young siblings. She also has an interest in the supernatural and with a book on the occult and a genuine original board. She protects in a sense with two friends in an attempt her father. Taking place during an eclipse, this initial sequence is one of the more effective throughout the film, with the film's editing building suspense by frantically jumping between the eclipse itself and the three girls using the original board. With the eclipse having been described earlier as having some supernatural influence, what flows from this, as to be expected, is an evil entity that emerges from the board which attaches itself to Veronica and soon makes itself known. Jump scars also become quite rampant in Veronica, especially with the films used the Nightmare as Reality Trope, where Veronica rises in a frenzy from a dream that may or may not have been real. An example is at one point when she wakes to see her siblings hiding in the closet and suddenly is held down by multiple slithery hands that emerge from her bed before actually waking up in a sweat. 2. Symbolic scares Demonic possession films are notably common in Hollywood, seen in some recent entries such as the Country series, these films attempt to get at the core of what makes possession so frightening is the loss of control and identity as a result of the supernatural being taken over one's body. But what they often miss out on is aligning the possession scares with the actual character's fears. What differs in Veronica is the intense focus on the titular characters, displaying the motherly responsibilities that she has had to pick up as a result of her parents being absent and as the oldest kid in her family. The demonic possession, too not particularly scary on its own, feels more pertinent when you recognize the moments when it starts to take hold. It soon resembles Veronica's loss of control over her life, since she feels as if she has no choice but to care for her younger siblings. Plaza's ability to make you sympathetic to Veronica's situation is at least part of what makes the film work as well as it does giving it a humanity that is little seen in this subgen of horror. The last is conclusion of Veronica. Despite a tendency to overdo it when it off when it comes to the scars themselves, Paco Plaza's Veronica contains enough focus on the character and symbolism to be an effective possession horror. It's a film that both satisfies and frustrates at individual moments but as a whole is still worth your time. Thank you.